So often when we pray, we think that we have to block out the whole world and that everything has to be perfect. If we lose focus, we're not praying right. And for me, this is what I always approached prayer as, and it was always so difficult because I'd get distracted, because I would lose my train of thought, and it wouldn't be as fulfilling as it could be. As a millennial joining the Franciscans, I realized when I entered that I had never actually truly been silent in my whole life. There was always someone around. There was always something to do. I was never fully alone with my God. This was a huge thing I had to get over and something that just hit me like a truck when I entered. One of the first things we did was we went on an eight-day silent retreat. This might be daunting for many people. For me at first, I loved the idea. I could read, I could pray, I could sleep, I could do whatever I wanted without any responsibilities. And believe it or not, you find after about two or three days that you can't stand having so much time. And so the one day I decided, I'm just going to exist. I can't stand praying anymore, I can't stand reading anymore, I don't think I could take a nap. I'm just going to go to the chapel and exist. I'm gonna let God gaze upon me. I'm just gonna be. No doing, just be. And what happened was a monk came walking through, back and forth and back and forth, and he slammed the door a number of times, and he just ruined my silence. And I sat there just so frustrated. All I wanna do is just be there with God. I couldn't get over the distraction. Until I realized that in that moment, I wasn't supposed to be blocking out the world so that I could be with Jesus. I was supposed to be with Jesus in the world. I was just a friend with Jesus, just spending time. I didn't need to be doing anything or saying anything. Just being together, experiencing the same things was transformative for me.